Now, if y'all remember a few days ago, I went in, uh, sat down in some woods. I bumped a couple deer coming in, some acorns, and uh, found a couple old tree stands and then ended up with that doe at 10 yards at last light. Probably could barely see her, but I drew back and didn't have a clear shot on the vitals. Well, that's where I'm going back to. leaves blowing the wind is swirling this way pretty bad but then sometimes it goes that way sometimes it goes this way it's supposed to go this way tire drainage is very thick and it's a cut in the landscape that should funnel the wind that way the way it's supposed to blow so even though it's swirling around here I don't think it's getting to the deer as long as it calms down by deer 30 and starts drifting downhill with the thermals like it's supposed to we should be money see the uh, crack in the cap this one old chip is missing. You see there's a, even a crack in that chip. That's from a deer's front incisors. I've mentioned it before, but a lot of times a squirrel will put chips in an acorn cap like that. But the deer have front teeth on the bottom that actually bite in and crack that cap. They don't always do it. Sometimes they chew up the whole acorn and spit the pieces out. But uh, sometimes they just pop the cap off and swallow the acorn whole so they can chew it later when they're bedded down. So we got uh, emerald ash borers pretty bad around here. They've been getting worse every year. I wanna climb this ash tree, but I need to make sure it's still alive. I have to do this every time I look at an ash tree to climb, or even climb near one, because I don't want one blowing down on me. That one still has all the twigs on it, so I'm gonna say it is still good to climb. Alrighty, looks great up here. Well, it never fails. Come in here specifically to shoot a big old doe, and the tiniest little buck comes by 10, 15 yards broadside. Always happens like that. Seems like it. I uh, think I hear an armadillo or something shuffling around there. I wish it was right here so I could kebab him. But we're gonna climb down back to work tomorrow, and then hopefully see you all again soon. All right, I'm getting a late start. I got stuck in some real bad traffic on the way over here and uh, kind of set me back a little bit. In that area where I've I've done good in the past during rifle season and it's still bow season. Uh, rut is just starting to pick up. Probably gonna shoot a doe tonight. I saw it, it's behind that brush now. There's a deer right there. I think it's a doe. Wait, there's another one. Maybe. I can't, yeah, yeah, there's a few deer up in there. We got some big red oaks up ahead, right in front of me. I don't know if they're dropping yet. This big mature red oak is dropping pretty good. And there's a great deer trail that's coming through. All right, I think I found somewhat of a pinch point. That one good trail is actually a couple of them. So with a lot of tracks and they're crossing this slough here. And uh, looks like they're browsing on that green stuff there too. You see, looks 
least from here. Looks like they've been browsing on it. They're cutting across this little swampy area. And they're also coming through the bushes here. I think I'm gonna climb this tree right here. This maple tree here is, reminds me of being a kid climbing the branches, but had my linemen's rope to be a little bit safer. Spike was standing downwind of me sniffing. Didn't care too much and then he looked up away from me really quick and took off running like something else spooked him. She just got up. Wait a second. Either my doe just got up and ran a little bit, or that was one of the other deer with her. It's too much stuff to see through. It sounded like I saw a deer start running, and then it sounded like it crashed again. There's the arrow. I, I guess it passed through. Well, I'm not sure. I know I hit real close to bone, but the arrow's stuck in the ground with not much blood on it. Day. Obviously, I'm back in the canoe going back to the truck. I'm gonna have to double check that uh, footage on the big screen, but I'm 99% sure I uh, 
grazed the deer. I followed the trail a good ways and ended up jumping her and she acted like she wasn't even hurt. So fingers crossed that she will survive just fine. And uh, I did see a pretty nice buck while I was tracking her, jumped him. Uh, so that's some good intel to have, but I'm gonna lay out of here for at least a couple days, maybe longer. Guess I'll see you again soon.